Chris, can you come into my office, please? I know we have a plan of action to increase our revenue. Unfortunately, I have a responsibility to prepare for the worst. What do you need? According to the last financial statement, if the restaurant doesn't do well, we will have a loss. This is where I need you, Chris. I have developed a contingency plan in case we have to downsize. What is the plan? The plan I have in mind is to stop filling any vacancies that we can have. Plus, we need to cross train our current employees in different areas. We need to start discussing separation within three months. We need to cut hours and offer leave without pay. Do you think that would be necessary? Do our numbers look that bad? I don't know yet, but we need to prepare for the worst and have a plan so we can prepare the employees on what to expect. I can work with Sasha on the schedule and start with the cross training plan. I will not fill the open positions until our plan has been complete. I will need to start settlement packages in case we need to do this. I will work on it and let Fred know so he can run the numbers and make a projection. That's something we can work on. All of this needs to be kept on the down low, at least until we know if the current plan of action is working. In the final meeting, we will discuss the situation and if we are not improving. I think it would be good if we involve Sasha and Barbara. Okay, let me call them in. Barbara, Sasha, can you come into my office? We're discussing about the worst case scenario and if we don't increase revenue. I have created a contingency plan and we will not hire any new personnel. We will start cross-training some of our current employees and we will be prepared in case we need to lay people off. Okay, I think this is a good idea. I will start the cross-training in the kitchen. Now that we are all on the same page, we can be prepared for the worst. Thanks all of you for your support.